Dear students, welcome to computer class. This is lecture 2 in week 5. We are in chapter number 1 formulas in Excel 2013 of Oxford Keyboard Book 7. In our last class, we had discussed the errors in Excel 2013. If Excel 2013 can't properly calculate a formula that you enter in a cell, the program displays an error value in the cell as soon as you complete the formula entry. Excel uses several error values, all of which begin with the number sign, hash. In our today's class, we will learn about the Excel Auto Sum feature. The Auto Sum feature automatically adds numbers in the selected cells. You can also use it to find the average, maximum, etc., for a range of cells. The Auto Sum button is present at two places on the ribbon. Number 1. In the Editing group on the Home tab. Number 2. In the Function Library group on the Formulas tab. Let's have an example. Consider this example where we need to find the total marks of students in three tests. First, type the data in the worksheet as shown on your screens. Select the E2 and click the Auto Sum in the Editing group on the Home tab. With Auto Sum or Sum, Excel will create a formula with the Sum function along with cell range. A moving marquee surrounds cells B2 through D2 and a screen tip appears below the cell, telling you the correct format of the Sum function. Press Enter or click the Auto Sum button again, to view the result. As you have learned earlier, you can use the Auto Fill feature to fill a range of cells. Select L E2. Point the cursor to the fill handle of cell E2. It will change to a small black cross. Keeping the left mouse button pressed, drag the fill handle to cell E5. Release the mouse button to view the result. Let us find the average marks. Type the date to as shown on your screens. Select cell F2. Click the Auto Sum drop down menu. And choose Average from the Auto Sum menu. The average function will be inserted automatically. The range in the formula is B2, E2, which is not what we want. Correct the cell range by changing E2 to D2. Press the Enter and you will get the result. Select LF2. Point the cursor to the fill handle of cell F2. It will change to a small black cross. Keeping the left mouse button pressed, drag the fill handle to cell F5. Release the mouse button to view the result. Dear students, Maximum marks in each test. For this purpose, select cell B7 and choose Max from the Auto Sum menu. Correct the cell range in the formula to B2 colon B5 and press Enter to view the result. To fill the remaining cells in the row, first select cell B7. Point the cursor to the fill handle of cell B7. Keeping the left mouse button pressed, drag the fill handle to cell F7. Release the left mouse button to view the result, and to view the result. Dear students, let us now try the min function. Select cell B8 and choose the min from the auto sum menu. Correct the cell range, in the formula to B2 colon B5 and press the enter key. As in the case of the max function, to fill the remaining cells in the row, first select cell B8. Point the cursor to the fill handle and drag the fill handle to cell F8. Release the left mouse button to view the result. The last function for today is count function. It is your home assignment to try it by yourself, dear students. These questions are your homework. Please write to them in your notebooks, dear students. These questions are your homework. Please write to them in your notebooks. That's it. 
for today's class. Take care. Have a nice day.